Hello, uh, it's Cave 2 EFG here in Overpeck Park. I've returned to this park because uh, I had experience here with an end fed antenna which was not good. You can see the park right outside of the car here. Uh, it is a high point in uh, Bergen County. Uh, there is a commercial antenna about half a mile uh, to our north. So I know that this is a good location, but the end fed antenna did not perform well, perhaps because it's uh, semi-directional. I'm gonna try to combine two experiments today. The first one is a magnetic antenna on the roof of the car. I have an 18 meter and a 20 meter and a 40 meter. Uh, and I will try to put at least two of them up. Uh, and the second thing I'm gonna try to experiment with, uh, other than having two antennas on the same roof at the same time, uh, I'm going to also try that location again, uh, this time with a multi, uh, multi omnidirectional uh, type uh, broadcasting. There is a body of water not too far from here. Uh, you can see it there between the trees. Uh, it's a, 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 a man-made lake and I don't know if it's going to help or not have an effect. I hope it's not going to have uh, an adverse effect. Uh, so this is it. We'll see what we can do. Uh, K2EFG in Overpeck Park in Bergen County, New Jersey. So I quickly connected this uh, MFJ uh, portable antenna to with uh, adjustable uh, adjustable coil to uh, my radio. But while I'm at it, since I had some slack, I created a small little balloon. This is an ad hoc improvised balloon. Uh, couldn't hurt. That's what my thinking is. In addition, uh, the car is going to be running, so I am going to um, ground the car, uh, at least uh, in some way, from the body of the vehicle to uh, the ground. So I have some degree of uh, um, some degree of uh, uh, grounding uh, from the vehicle, which is going to be running. Uh, uh, Copy that. Uh, give me the call sign again. I got Hotel Papa One Sierra Kilo Bravo QSL. Negative. Hotel Papa One Sierra Tango Bravo. Okay. Uh 18, uh, 17 meters work really nice. Uh, we are going to try to work now 20 meters. The 20 meter antenna on the roof, along with the 18 meter, with the 17 meter antenna, uh, really didn't matter. I uh, spoke to South Africa for the first time, also to the Isle of Man. They both copied me well. South Africa was low. Um, the RST was four by one. But uh, Isle of Man, England uh, got me at uh, five minutes. Echo Prince, Jeremy, Roger. Uh, I QSL, QSL, let me have your call uh, sign. Uh, you are 5 by 9 over here in New Jersey. Over. All right, thank you for the 5 by 9 in uh, New Jersey. Uh, the call sign we're using is a special event station, Whiskey, Whiskey, 9 Echo. That's Whiskey, Whiskey, 9 Echo, Roger. Whiskey, Whiskey, 9 Echo. Okay, so uh, we did 40 meters. Uh, the New York QSO party is on, so there's no DX to be had, but 40 meters have a uh, uh, nice, nice signal. The two antennas are not interacting with each other. The location seems to be good. Spoke as uh, north as Niagara Falls and uh, could hear as uh, south as uh, Virginia and uh, I think even Florida. So, uh, so far the experiment is working well. Next, what we'll do is we we'll put the 20 meter up. The 70 meter just uh, closed up. It's about uh, 2 p.m. and the uh, 17 meters uh, just uh, is not working anymore. So uh, my last call was actually from Panama. I have the call recorded. Uh, I'll pr try to put it up in a minute. Uh, and beyond that, uh, we will try 20 meter and just switch the antennas. Hey, okay, K2EFG here, um, sitting with two antennas and having a great fun. It is 2.20 p.m. Bands are gonna naturally go a little down as the ionosphere is expanding. But we are, uh, we proved the concept. Those two antennas can work at this location. is a good location. I will be back and visit. Uh, one more look at Overpeck Pack Park here in New Jersey. Uh, behind me is the other hill uh, those of you can see a little bit, you can see the other tower 
Uh, this is a ridge, uh, and uh, the next ridge is actually Fort Lee, and after that is New York City to our east, and to our west is really uh, mostly flat land all the way until Pennsylvania, and there's a body of water uh, over there yonder. So uh, I uh, had a really good success here, and um, I uh, can prove a concept that two antennas on the roof do not interact with each other, at least not on uh, 20, 17, and 40 meters. Uh, they did not interact with each other, did not affect, and in fact, I got some pretty good response. Maybe they work almost as a Yagi. Uh, but be that as it may, I'm gonna uh, check out. I got really good QSOs, and we'll talk soon. Uh, in the meanwhile, thank you for following me on YouTube, and uh, 73 K2EFG out.